www stands for World Wide Web, but did you ever wonder why we type this in when we go to a website? To access the World Wide Web, you type in www. Let's start out with this guy who invented the World Wide Web back in 1989. This right here was the first web page on the internet, but notice how it did not include www. So why then did it become a thing? Back in the early web days, it was common for a single server to be dedicated to hosting a website, a separate server to host email, and another one to host a blog. While these servers might share the same domain name, a subdomain was added to distinguish them. And that's really all www is. It's a subdomain. But wait, what if you have a website at www.example.com? What's going on at example.com? Well, in most cases, it's the same exact thing. That's right, www.example.com is the same exact website as example.com. But it gets worse. All six of these URLs point to the same exact website. And the way that that is possible is with something called a redirect. This happens all the time and we can see it in action right now. For example, going to google.com will redirect you to www.google.com while going to www.twitter.com will redirect you to just twitter.com without the www. So not only typing www is unnecessary, but saying it is just as silly. You guys, you I'm... don't have to say www. But yet... I don't want to have this conversation again. What are you talking about, Melissa? Yeah, you have to can... say it, Melissa. You gotta say you it. Don't, you don't, because everyone it. knows what it means. How do you know it's a website? Because you say .com. Yeah, but how do you know, how do you know it's, know it's just... www? Yeah, how do you know that's a good point? Because it's just one of those things that when something's around for a long enough time in society, you can just abbreviate like it. Like what else? Like what? Like what names? What else for like names yeah, of that's people? That's what I was All right, you know what? Say www. I don't care. No, you know what I'm saying. No, forget it. You're right. In fact, don't say www. Say World Wide Web every time you say a website. No, that's a total waste. That's a waste of time. I think Douglas Adams says it the best, and he said, quote, The World Wide Web is the only thing I know of whose shortened form takes three times longer to say than what it's short for. And you know, the funny thing is that not everyone says it the same. W, double W, full stop. Triple W dot. W, W, W dot. W, W, W dot. W, W, W dot. At the end of the day, there is no standard or policy or requirement for any website to have a www subdomain. But my guess is that this unnecessary practice will continue for quite some time.